Good afternoon, everybody in the VHR. This is our weekly raid video uh, for logs. I'm going to this is number two. I want to go ahead and say that if you haven't gone and looked at number one, please check it out. So that way, when you listen to me reference things that are present now in this video, you'll have a correlation to be able to understand what I'm talking about directly or indirectly. Also, it's good so that way if you watch the first one for me and then watch the second one, you can give me some insight into tips that I can do to improve the overall message. After speaking with Zolt and also with Alec, the approach naturally they feel would be to convey the information in a format that is sound but also isn't along the lines of this is what we did good and this is what we did bad in that context. Because honestly that message can become very dull quickly, especially in the length of time that I want this video to be, which is around 10 to 15 minutes. Now we've got a lot of information to cover so I'm going to hop right in, okay? Overall, what we start with is that we were able to kill nine bosses with two wipes on Tuesday with several of them being uh, one shots including what we did the next day where we ended up going through the rest of the bosses up to Archimon. Uh, overall, the two aspects that I want to take point on to start with is that we need to make sure that we're doing reviews on uh, Cormrock. Quorm Did I say that correctly? I'm butchering names already. Yeah, on Cormrock and also on Fell Lord Zakun, where, like Gore put it, we're pretty much just smashing the shit out of them and we're not really heeding to the overall mechanics of the fight. So make sure that you're taking some time to review that outline to help your overall performance, okay? Going back to the Manoroth kill, I want to highlight some of the stuff like I talked about in the first video that I want to carry over into each one of the videos as I put them out is uh, highlights of performance for bracket percentage. As a standard now, we need everybody's bracket percentage to get up to 35% in execution. So when you come to rankings for each one of the kills here, it'll be listed as so. There's your boss. You can highlight that by clicking on it. And then you can click here as far as for the kill if there's, for example, wipes and then a kill. Uh, and what you want to highlight is what we want to really do is try to get this box right here to be as green as possible or better okay if for example on a boss fight you're consistently seeing yourself performing in this area here where it's grayed out we need to sit there and figure out because mechanically um, in your rotation for example in your total uptime of attack on target they're not right and in some simple adjustments uh, especially with using for example a couple of different add-ons for your class that highlight you know when to click something for maximum output um, or for example, like Weak Wars, Weak Wars is supposed to help fix this. So if you're not using Weak Wars 2, um, or you are using it and you're having trouble with that, please come to me or please start researching, for example, on YouTube or other sites on how you can sit there and apply it. So that way what we can do is we can improve in these numbers in these areas here. Because if we end up getting consistent number percentage output like that throughout that bracket, man, we are going to go all the way through Heroic like it's no problem be able to get to Mythic really, really quickly, okay? Um, so here's the Manoroth kill overall pretty good on the next one here this is all of our kills this is Hellfire Assault this is on Tuesday we've got a lot more green showing up but we also have for example here we have a 9, an 8, a 9, a 9, and an 8 we really gotta tighten all that up right there to the best that we can um, for the tanks what I wanna see is green and above right in here on a consistent basis for your percentage just go all defensive for now We'll look for balance, for example, of defensive and, myth and, and mythic for, you know, um, defensive and also, you know, offensive potential because you can actually go one way or the other. And the production can be like 10, 15K. But what I want more than anything is we're going through normal and heroic at this point is just work on your defensive rotation and to mitigate as much damage as possible. We really need to see, for example, like Levixen here, she got an 84 and 85% on her bracket percentages. That's the kind of stuff that we need to see on as many fights as possible, okay? Um, the one fight that I did want to highlight with everybody. This is exactly what we want to see. Now, we still have some low percentages right in here as far as what was going on. And Link had a disconnect at one point. So when they come back in and we can see in future, if you look at other ones, the performance is there. It's a great addition to the group as a whole. But you see all this? Blue, purple, purple, purple blue, blue, blue. And, it, and it's because why? Well, think about the Iron Reaver fight, right? We all stack on them, which is something I announced as we were going forward. And we engaged on the target. And it made it really simple for us to kind of work with it within what was going on. Overall, what we want to make sure that we're looking for um, is that on fights where that's not the case, where it's just simply him not standing there and we burn him down, that you know we, we start to respond at a higher rate. 
And what I mean by that is, you know, you got to have a game plan. you got to come in and think about what you're doing so that way you can execute it instead of it kind of being like fly at the seat of my pants and, oh, I, you know, I'll get better as time goes on. That's true, you would. But the thing that is a team is that we need to sit there and, and get that curve to, to, to occur quicker as far as us getting into each one of the fights and knowing what we're going to do and why we're going to do it. Uh, in a minute, I'm going to go ahead and do a review involving the comparisons here of being able to compare two of them. I asked Zold if I could do one between him and the top performer on Iron Reaver because, as you can see, he got a 93 percentile on it. Murphy got a 96. Uh, Chikara got a 65 percent. So what I'm going to do is show you how to be able to set that up and be able to take a look at the information and be able to make some assessments between what you did and what someone else did so that way you can get an idea of what you know you can do to improve your overall performance and execution. Okay? Um, overall, like I said, uh, Cormrock, we got a wipe on. That was a mechanic death. We need to make sure that we understand the mechanics for every single boss that we engage in. Between that one, Fell Lord Sakoon, and also Archimon, we have got to know those outlines in and out. So, taking the time, if you go to our website, which is dum dum dum, right? bring it up right here. You go to the home page. If you look where my pointer is right here, Dropbox links, okay, you can click on that with a control click and then brings up every single one of the outlines and they're all done they're all set me and Alex spent about 14 16 hours worth of time between typing them up reviewing them editing them a couple of them as you can see here have been touched up on uh, if you have any insight after you read the outline and you think something needs to be made an adjustment or additional note we can do that we also have this available if you come here to the forum down here in range DPS and melee DPS. Murphy went over every single DPS class and put in an outline of how to play the class as far as what you want to look for rotation wise, what you want to look for stat wise and how you want to push playing on single target and multi-target. Check out your class and please comment, especially if, for example, if there's something citable or an additional technique or even if you want to give insight on how you're dealing with, um, for example, all the bosses in HFC currently. We need to start getting more activity on the website and more write-ups overall. To me, your opinions matter, okay? I look at this stuff all the time. Honestly, out of the probably five, 6,000 times that we've had people look at the website, I'm probably like 2,000 of them, hands down, because I come to the site all the time putting up posts. I think I'm at like 270 posts. And the idea there is like I'm trying to generate that activity and I need your help. So if you could take the time, take a look at at least those DPS guides and give your opinions. I added some for healing as far as for Holy Paladins and Resto Shamans. Um, and, and if we could get some for tanking, some, some written up for tanking and put in there, that would be great. That would be great work and I'd appreciate it greatly. Um, overall, okay, so what I wanted to show, this right here is a comparison between Zolt and Muldan from the guild Japund Wipar, okay? There are EU group. This is the number one execution. I'll show you how I found all the data. But what it what it's showing is um, between the two of them, Zolt is the blue line and the purple line is the other player, is is Mul, right? And what you can see is clear spikes when all of a sudden, boom, damage shot up. This is on Iron Reaver too, by the way. Okay, so you see these clear moments. Huge spike, everything's going up, boom, boom, boom. You can also turn on when they did hero, so that's probably a good idea. All right, so hero at the start here, right? Showing when the spikes come, settles in, settles in. There's a spike, there's a spike, there's a spike. So a lot more production. Clearly, this is some movement going on right here. Probably had got chased around a little bit there, got targeted, right? And then everything kind of settles in. And then you got this huge spike towards the end here at two minutes. So that's probably a rotation of the cooldowns, for example. Probably another use of the ring also, okay? Um, what this is going to show you is a bunch of information being able to compare the two. So say, for example, you have a low performance on your DPS, healing, or on tanking. What I'm going to demonstrate to you is how to use Warcraft logs to be able to sit there and cite yourself against someone who is comparable to you from this current week of the last seven days to ten days worth of logs that have been posted, okay? Now what you get from this is not only total damage done, right, but you can also see like damage taken, for example. You can see where, for example, you were taking spikes as far as damage that came in. Um, you can see where, you know, you avoided a whole bunch of it. I mean, there's a lot of similarities, for example. Like, if you look at, for example, here, Zolt, for the first, like, 30 seconds or so, they're right on par with each other. And then there's a lot of times where it's just the area effect damage that they're taking. So that's good stuff. You know, you can get some insight because nothing makes you change your DPS rotation more than taking damage or having to move yourself 
in in a manner where you don't end up getting what you want to get as far as the area you want to be in to go right back into it, right? You know, you sidestep poorly or maybe you backpedal, which don't ever backpedal, just run, run or strafe, okay? So um, you can also check out this too where you go to buffs. You click on buffs. And you can see the two of them, for example, when they used everything, their uptime, as far as when they use their sniper training, throw the hunt, all of this information is there for you. You can also see, let's see, dum -dum -dum, like when they were using, for example, theirs. So that way you can compare the two of them and it gives you insight to be able to tighten up. So for example, like on Weaker Wars, you're not doing something consistently compared to the other player. You can sit there and create a Weaker Wars string or find one online that tells you like, oh, hey, look, this is where I'm making a mistake. I need to keep this uptime up because, for example, these uptimes on, on specific stuff like sniper's training, for example, is a huge, it's huge. You know, it increases damage dealt, critical strike damage, shot range, etc. So you got to make sure that, you know, you're finding out these things and working with them as often as you can. Uh, last one, cast. So you've got cast down here. What you see is like when they ended up using, for example, their potions, it shows how many times they used aim shot, steady shot, focus shot. And what you can do is you can take a comparison between the two of them, right? Um, and, and then that way you can adjust your overall times that you're doing something. For example, like if you're doing one thing and you notice that, for example, this other person is doing this so much more and that's where their threshold of damage is coming out, then that's where you can sit there and make one adjustment. Like for example, the difference here is clearly they're using steady shot over focus shot. And the output between the difference between what Zolt does and what this other player did was, I think, like 18,000 maybe. So there's, there it is. That's it, right? And they use Chimera Shot too, uh, Kill Shot. Everything else is pretty similar. So you see where the discrepancy is between the two? That's how it works out. And it looks like pretty much for a majority of the fight, they were like one, two, one, two, one, two, and just went back and forth. Now you're probably asking like, okay, well, hopefully you're asking, right? How did I go about doing this? First thing you do is you got to sit there and you got to find the player, right? So this right here is a breakdown of that I did with a 15 to 18 players, fight length in seconds, and then dates within the last few. You also want to set it up to what class you're looking for, naturally your own. You also set it up to a relative item level threshold that's present. Make sure it's on normal. And you can do all the bosses or just one. This one here, of course, is Iron Reaver because Zolt did a really good job on it. And this is the overall that they put out. Like, I think Zolt did like 58 or 56 on this one, maybe. And then uh, this cat right here ended up doing 67. Okay, so, you know, clearly an easy way to make an extra 10k extra damage. And all you have to do is change up one thing. So on top of that too, you can click here on the armory and what that's going to do is bring that up there so you can do a comparison between your gear and their gear. For example, on set bonuses, do they have ring? Um, are they using a spec, for example, where instead of using mastery, they're using crit and all of a sudden crit's working out really well for them because sometimes, you know, we get bonuses, Blizzard throws in, uh, you know, a patch or something and they make, you know, mastery or something really, really strong and you get a bonus off of it. Well, that means you don't need to stack mastery as much. You can start stacking crit, which gives you even more damage because both are going to be, they have a synergy um so uh, to be able to do that what you want to do is like i said across here you set up all these then you come here to search fight and this is where you set up the raid size i always like to do within you know two to three so if we have 15 it's going to be like you know 13 to 17 um for damage it's not necessarily needed but uh for healing and whatnot it, it is kind of comparable to make sure the raid size is about the same because the amount of damage that's coming in based on the amount of characters present and other classes healing that'll make an impact now once you set that up there you can set up the fight length you set up the date and then you hit search and then that's how you end up this threshold here so this is the 52 top hunters that performed in in that time frame and then you can just compare accordingly okay And that's pretty much it. Then uh, once you've gotten that, then you come up to here. Once you've like selected, so I, like I said, I selected Muldoon. You click on this part right here that I have I have highlighted at the top. You do a copy paste on it, and then you come back here, okay? And you click on this part right here that says compare on your main one. When you click on it, it's going to say compare reports. Now, the report that you have would be, for example, the one that I typically post up on a consistent basis. <laughs> when I remember, I actually forgot two bosses last night. Um, but you click on the compare reports, and it'll be the report that you were looking at, for example. So this is, this is our attempts on Tuesday. And then it says compare with URL. So that URL you copied, you pasted in here, and then 
and then click OK, and then that what that's going to do is load it up so that the two of them can be present, and that'll allow you to be able to sit there and do a comparison between the two of them. I hope this helps everybody out. Please work on performance. If you have any questions, please ask me or ask Zolt, ask any of the leaders, ask anybody. I don't care. Go and find like I did where I went and had a 40-minute conversation uh, with my friend Mastis who is in uh, Unbreakable with Asmogold and all them. And he focused on telling me some information that put me in a position where I know I've improved. You can see it consistently on my logs. And it was something that I was able to apply within a few days of use on a consistent basis, okay? Uh, like I said, there's other add-ons and things like that you can do too. Um, hopefully, this will help you out. If you have any questions, again, please click uh, like below, discussion below, et cetera, et cetera. Put everything there. And uh, see you in game. Have a blessed day, okay? Talk to you later.